Greetings everyone and welcome to another Great American Survival. I'm Marvin Ford and in today's video we're doing another EDC update with a tool from Gerber. Now if you're looking for a new EDC and you'd like to consider adding in a utility blade, this just might be the one for you. So stick with us. We'll tell you all about it. This video is intended for all ages. All right, so as I said, today we are talking about the Prybrid. Now this is a hybrid utility knife, very nicely done. One nice little play on words. I like the way they did that. Now the knife itself has a steel mainframe that holds everything together. And it's got these awesome G10 handle scales on top. G10 allows a great purchase, makes feels really good in your hand. I like it. I like the fact that it's not gonna slip at four and a half inches in length. It fits well in your hand. I don't have huge hands, but I don't have little hands either. Uh, the knife itself, the blade, the tool itself, I should say, is four and a quarter inches long, has eight different tools, is 0.4 inches thick, which is really small for what it is, and weighs 2.9 ounces. Very nice. It'll set you back about $20 at Home Depot is where I picked mine up. Uh, trying to support locally and not just buy stuff off Amazon if I don't have to. But I like this thing. Um, I Like I said, I work in the automotive industry, so knives like this come in very, very handy. I love the fact that what's involved here is just a double-sided, removable, replaceable, standard uh, razor blade. Now, I will say that not all of these utility blades are going to fit this. Um, I will put a link down below to, I came across, I've tried five different ones and the one we use mostly through work, that one works, but the ones I've looked at and I've, I honestly had tried out two other ones and they did not work that I had. And then I was referred by a friend of mine, he had tried it and he had two different ones that did not work. I will put those in the descriptions, the ones that do not work, just so you don't waste your time buying them like I did. The knife, or tool is very well done, has eight tools, even though I don't really consider the flatheads uh, as useful as that, just because of the beveled tip, you're very limited on what you're gonna be able to use, but they do work. I've used them in a pinch, taken some license plates off of customers' cars uh, when their cars total, and it works for that. And that's what this is. These little notch right here, that's the small flathead, that's the large flathead. In between it is a nail puller. The whole thing makes up the pry bar, and then deep in that little cleft right there, see if I can get it to zoom in, there you go, is a wire stripper. See how the edge is all nice and sharpened? Makes it work very well uh, as a wire stripper. Has a bottle opener here, has a cord cutter here, which I will say the one thing about the cord cutter is it only works with the blade retracted, which makes sense. If you're going to be holding it here, you don't need to be pulling cords anywhere near the open blade. So I like that. I think that's a very safe design. Uh, the blade is a double-ended utility blade, very easy to remove. You're just gonna press up on this little tab right here and the blade slides out. It is a double-sided reverse you know, blade, so once it wears down, you just swap it around and use the other side. Very nice. For 20 bucks, I think this is definitely a good option for someone, if you're like me, I like to be able to throw something like this in my pocket, have it on my on my person whenever I'm out and about. This one right here, for having a utility blade, I mean, utility blade, as you know, means automatically, no, this thing is not TSA friendly, so don't even ask. Uh, but coming in handy, uh, breaking down boxes, cutting straps, things like that, this thing is a beast. Uh, I won't do any de demonstrations cutting because it's a razor blade. I mean, it's as sharp as a razor, literally and works very, very well for that. I like the not, the tool. Um, I've had a couple people say that the one thing they didn't like about it was that it didn't have a pocket clip. I don't want it to have a pocket clip because I like being able to just drop this down in my pocket, it goes in my back pocket, and it's not gonna, it's not big and bulky where it's gonna, it's not completely uncomfortable to have in your pocket. Um, also, I like the fact that these edges are not sharp. None of these edges are 
sharp. They're not going to break through and cut a hole in your pocket, uh, do any damage to your jeans or anything like that. Like me, I wear jeans or shorts to work every day, and I like it. I think the, the tool is very handy. I think it definitely has a purpose, especially if, like I said, you're like me, work in the automotive industry or a trade. Having a utility blade is very, very handy. I like it. I love the fact that it, you hear that, that snap, meaning it ain't going to just pop out. You got to push in and up to get it up. And that's where you'll push it to, to change it out. And then boom, back down it goes out of your way. Nice and safe. I like the tool. I think the tool is a great choice. My dogs are barking. But as you see, this is a very nice EDC choice. If you like something a little smaller, go with the other model. I'll put a link down below to that uh, review. That one was a great tool. I really like it. My wife has confiscated it. She likes having it for work. She works at a grocery store here in Georgia. And sometimes she just needs one to cut something open. It works. It's small. It's dainty. It's a little, it's, a, it's half the size of this thing. And it's just very, very nice. Very compact, very easy to manipulate. She has little bitty hands, so that knife works much better for her. This one right here, a little bigger. I don't have the big, biggest hands, but my hands are, aren't small. So I like it. So I'll put a link down below. I found mine at Home Depot, but I will put a link to Gerber. And um, I also think you can probably find it at Blade HQ. But honestly, if you can find it at Home Depot, near you for $20, go for it. You know, why, why feed the monster that is Amazon and sit there and, you know, yeah, you'll get it for $26 if you want, but hey, 20 bucks is 20 bucks. And I think for $20, this is definitely a huge price point for this. It works, it does its job, and it's just effective. I like it. I like it a lot. So if you're like me, looking for something different in your EDC, go over and check that out. Before I forget, oh, I thought that was pretty cool too. Look at that. Look how thin that thing is. That's a pencil. Standard number two pencil. Boom. I like that. I think that's pretty cool. I usually keep blades like this around because I write with pencils a lot and I always need to sharpen them. So I've always got a pocket knife on me, usually one or two at least. So I'll put a link down below to Gerber and to a couple different places you can pick one up. Go over and check them out. But guys, if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button. Be part of this community. And guys, thanks for stopping by. We will definitely see you again. There's a playlist down below if you want to see some more cool knife reviews. Go over and check them out. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a great week. Make sure you take time this week to get out there. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy nature. Be prepared. Stay safe. God bless, guys. We'll see you soon.